a bit early in the, in, the, in, in, the, in the morning, although my boss loves to start at 7 a.m. usually in the, in, in the morning. So it's kind of the middle of the day for, uh, for us. So welcome here today. So I'm Philippe Guimet, I'm the uh, CTO of uh, Sierra Wireless. Very glad to be here. And before the, the actual uh, fun starts, before we, we enter into the real part of the matter, I wanted to say a few words uh, quickly about building the Internet of Things and especially simplifying uh, the uh, Internet of Things. So, let's start. Most of you are building applications for IoT. Isn't it that simple? You have things, stuff. You connect to platform, cloud platform through the Internet. It's a very simple problem, isn't it? Just take a bit of hardware, put software on it, do web development, magic web development, and through the bit of routing and through the magical internet, you're done. I'm, I'm sure your life is as simple as, uh, as that. Well, I used to be a software developer. Uh, my team does not allow me to do software development anymore. <laughs> They're trying to you know, keep damage control. But I still do a lot of tinkering at home because I like to do, to do that. So, I have a bunch of pies, I do software development in many languages, I do my own schematic, PCB, CAD, I have a bunch of 3D uh, printers, I just love to, uh, to do that. But when I started doing development, and well, that was almost 30 years ago, and that's embarrassing to say, even when you say it fast, that's a bit, uh, that's terrible. But when I started to develop, I think the, the world of developers was a, a very uh, different place. I don't know if it was more difficult or if it was easier, but it was more, I would say, contained. And what I mean by that is you take a team of 5, 10, 20 people, and you could develop something from the ground up, like everything. You know, we would do our own hardware. We would start from a blank sheet of, of paper, develop software. We would even write our own operating system. That was an easy thing. Okay, you can pick up a few OS, but why doing that when you can develop your, your own uh, thing? So you, you would do that. There was no internet. We were, uh, we were fighting with dial-up uh, modems. And the notion of open source did not exist uh, at all. In fact, it's not totally true. I have the, the privilege to be part of some of the very few early Linux uh, tinkerers. And at that time, we had you know evening and night parties pizza and beer parties. And the goal here was to spread like Linux. And so everybody was supposed to show up with 20 floppies that were the whole Linux distribution. So you had to build you know, this floppy. And believe me, copying 20 floppies it takes, it takes a lot of time. So you had to do that so that you could give the 20 floppies to a newbie, a guy that wanted to be um, uh, interested in, uh, in Linux. Well, Anyway, that was a long time ago, uh, and things have changed. When you think about development today, back to the tinkering uh, aspect of things, I'm amazed by the amount of things a single developer can do. It's pretty amazing. As an individual, even as an individual doing tinkering at home, there are so many things that uh, I, I can do. I have, you know, on the embedded side, gigahertz processor, gigabytes of, of memory, multi multi core <coughs> tens of millions of lines of code available that I can uh, reuse. I have virtualization, cloud platform, do Docker, gigabit, you know, uh, internet. That's pretty amazing what you can do as an individual and even as a team. So, at the end of the day, is the development of a, of a platform more simple? Well, I'm not sure. Because when you think about what you need to put in place, to create today a connected IoT application, it's a lot of it's a lot of work. Even starting with hardware, and sometimes people say hardware is easy. I don't believe hardware is, is easy. So developing your own hardware, you can, you can create your own hardware, of course, but that's going to take you a while. Your software team is waiting. It's going to wait. You can choose a Pi, an Arduino, an embed, a bigger bone system, or develop your own. But you already have to to put these all these pieces together with very high speed interfaces, not easy. Then you have to select some kind of, of software, and 
there is an incredible galaxy of software you can choose. You can go, uh, you can go open source. You can go Linux. You can go, uh, you can go QNX. You can go proprietary. You can go very big. You can go very small. You can go Android. You can go uh, free autos. You can go Ecos. You can go Contiki, Riot, Zephyr, Brio, whatever. There are so many of these. But let's say you go Linux. So you get your kernel. You get your packages. You put all these things together, an um, uh, embedded uh, build tool. Finally, once you figure out what compiles, what does not compile, what is compatible, what is not compatible, you have an image, you put it in your system, and guess what? It's not going to boot. So the fun starts, you're going to have a lot of problems trying to, uh, to put that, that thing. And you've not even started to develop your application, you're just putting the essential pieces uh, to, together. Mm -hmm. And then, if it's supposed to be the connected Internet of Things, you have to choose the connection. So now you have great choice of local connection, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, or you can go uh, cellular. We like when you go cellular, although we, we don't have only cellular to provide, but cellular is currently what we do the, the, the best. So you have to figure out and find a, a, a module uh, to do that, integrate that module, make it connected with the rest of your platform, and if you've gone uh, local over your network, you have to select a gateway, which will connect to a broader uh, internet. That gateway, you have to provision all the devices, all the Bluetooth and all the Wi-Fi de devices. If you if you decided to go 3G or 3G, 2G, or LTE, it's a bit easier to some extent because you have direct internet connection, but you still have to provision all the devices. Then finally. You have to select your backend, database, whatever ERP, connect to all different other cloud platforms, uh, Lumix, Azure, AWS IoT, HANA, all of these. So it's already a lot of work. Then finally, somebody is going to tell you, well, now that you've put all these mobile devices in the field, you have to manage them. You have to do the firmware over the air. You have to provision them. You have to monitor them. You have to do all that work. And you suddenly have to develop on top of that a monitoring uh, platform. And last but not least, somebody in the organization is going to say, hey, what about security? Because I have I have heard about this Mirai thing, or this dirty cow, and all these issues, and how can you ensure me that all these million devices that you've put is going to be scalable, it's going to be secure? And you've not even started to develop your uh, own application. So the Internet of Things. The demo is a very well assembled puzzle. The puzzle looks nice, isn't it? Well, I believe, unfortunately, oops, sorry for that, that the reality looks a little bit like more like that. We have an idea of the puzzle, but it's not, it's not really fully assembled. There is a lot of pieces to be, uh, to be assembled for the puzzle to make sense. And this is where zero wireless, we believe, can help. So. I'm not going to tell you how to develop your application. You know how to do that much better than we do. I'm not going to tell you that we have created a, a platform with a sort of artificial intelligence and that's going to do all the coding and all the hardware development for you because, I mean, that's a bit stupid. I'm not going to tell you that, but what we have put together is really a set of, of capabilities and a set of platforms that we believe really help and facilitate the development <coughs> of your IoT uh, application. So starting with the embedded side, the, uh, we have a set of modem modules, 2G, 3G, 4G, and gateway modem and routers ready to be, uh, to be used. They are really like high quality uh, uh, product uh, working all over the world, fully uh, available. We also have, very important, we have developed a complete Linux based uh, application development kit and, and, and framework that is really here to help you developers concentrate on the application development. All this issue about selling the right kernel, selling the right packages, make them patch them, uh, make them compatible, we've done that for you. And on the uh, hardware side of things or prototyping side of things, we've created this Mango platform which is really a very fast prototyping platform. And you'll hear a lot about this too, by the way, uh, today. But this Mango platform is like 90% of the prototyping work 
is, uh, is made available so that you can really do very quickly your, uh, your prototyping. And very important, and that's a key message uh, that I want uh, you to hear, is that this platform, both of them, of them are open source. The, Le the Legato platform is fully open source. So you can contribute to that. In fact, we would like to grow the ecosystem. It's an NPL 2.0, so it's a clean license. So you can use that. You have access to all the source code on, on GitHub. You can reuse it the way you want, wherever you want. It's fully integrated, fully supported, fully validated, validated in our, on our platform. But you can decide to use it uh, wherever you, you, you want. And the, and the Mango itself, sorry, the Mango itself, the, the design, the schematics, the PCB, the gear, the gear, everything is open source as well. So you can start, you, you already have something that is built, but you can start from that and to do your prototyping and then do your final application based on, on Mango. So that's for the device side of things. If, you move to the, if we move to the cloud side of things, we have a platform named, named AirVantage, which is already connected to most of the largest uh, you know, other cloud platforms. And it's really here to provide you the device monitoring, the device provisioning, the subscription uh, man man management as well. All that is already here. It's also a da data hosting platform. If you want to host your data, you can host this, the, the, your data inside that, that platform. Not only that, but finally, we also have a connectivity uh, offering. We have full MVNO, so depending on the, on, the, on the country, but we can provide you a connectivity as well. So we have these three pieces that you can buy from us. You can buy them all together, or you can buy them separately. What I mean by that is the module will work on any network with any cloud platform. We are using standard protocol. The cloud platform can also uh, use other modules. My, my boss doesn't like when I say that, but we are also open from that, from that point of view. You can get the three from us, but you don't have to. The next step we are taking, because I believe this is great, but this is not good enough. The next step we are taking, is we really want to give you, application developer, a bigger forklift in terms of developing your application. So we have really put these three pieces together, the embedded modules and gateway, the network and the cloud platform, and we are combining them so that it's a single offering and it's making your life much easier. And what I mean by that is that conceptually, what you end up in a, is, is with a platform where you push your data on one end and you get it on the, on the, on the other end. And what happens in between is we take care of that, of that for you. You push data on the device, you push data on the cloud, and you get it synchronized on the, on the, on the other end. And all that in a kind of Synchronized, secure. We, we, we have to some extent, we can be your data, safe data vault. We can take care of, of that. And if you think about that, that's a big, 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 at least in my uh, developer experience, that's a big, really forklift in developing your application. Now you can concentrate on building the application itself, not all, everything that happens uh, under this. Because again, this is open source hardware. This is open source software. The platform is giving you, the cloud platform is giving you connectivity to all the well-known other cloud platforms, <coughs> monitoring, subscription activation, de deactivation, uh, firmware over the air, scalability, whether you have 10 devices or 1 million devices, the platform will start with 10, and will still be there when, when you will have 1 million or 10 million devices. And finally also networking connectivity. And what I mean by that is also uh, managed networking uh, connectivity. So you can review your uh, airtime bill, you can control it, you can decide rules, and we will improve, we will continue to improve security, including things like you know, dynamic uh, threat management and, and, and things like that, so that basically will be the easy to use and complete uh, secure platform. So that's kind of all I wanted to say as an introduction. There will be a lot of more exciting details about this offering and, and what we can do. Please engage. We would love to have uh, your feedback. I'll be there personally the whole day. So don't hesitate to I mean, reach out to me if you, if you have questions. You have a great team that is going to walk you through all the details. And I will start with 
Greg, our partner from Flex, who is also uh, going to describe you, the great thing Flex are really doing to, in fact, help you as well building quickly your, uh, your, your application. Thank you. Great. Thank you.